And we're back, guys. Okay, so you can see right now it's 1.30 a.m. Um, I left off in the last video at like 12 a.m. exactly. The reason that I'm picking up right now on the same, uh, just an hour and a half later, is because I had to bring my dog in and I had to run to the hot springs to rest because I tried to um, start recording my next video and I woke up, overslept, and it was raining. So I know I checked the weather, but um, I was careless when I was doing the Harvest Goddess minigame and trying to save myself a little bit of headache, so um, I ended up changing the weather somehow or the other with through save states. So anyway, we should be safe to fall asleep now and wake up at 6 a.m. no problem. And I heard those birds chirping for a second, and I was like, hold up. I was like, it is rainy today, right? So yeah, as you can hear... The rain is coming down, and I'll pop outside um, just to maybe check the mailbox really quick. No letter. So run back in, and now is the very last day of the Harvest Goddess minigame. Thank the Harvest Goddess, because we don't have to do this again for an entire year. So I'll catch up with you guys after I get the tea leaves. Shoo, goodness gracious. All right, we finally have our fifth relaxation tea leaf of the day, our final relaxation tea leaf we're going to have to earn through the TV for uh, an entire year so. Goodness gracious, it feels good to be, uh, to have that weight lifted off my shoulders, but at the same time, I'm going to sorely miss that income. Definitely going to miss it. Um, let's go check on Biff. Don't be scared, Biff. The rain is outside and you're inside, so it's no problem. And now, even on rainy days, God still ventures out into the wilderness at 7 a.m., so don't worry, he's still going to um, be here for you to deliver him some honey. So, I don't know <laughs> if I said that right, but get in his way so he can't run past you. And give him the honey! He should be um, giving us a recipe, I don't know, maybe not so soon. Um, I wonder what's going to happen first, if the Harvest Goddess will w award us with a power berry, or if Gods will uh, reward us with a recipe. So, yeah. And one more thing to do up here, to boil this egg. Throw it in the spa, and now it's a great gift, or it's worth 80 gold um, in the Harvest Bin. So, um, since we no longer have a steady source of 5,000 gold per day, we're going to have to start doing things a little bit more um, traditionally. Um, so, so yeah, grab gifts, and um, since it's raining, we don't have to work on the farm at all. There's nothing to harvest, there's nothing to water, um, so we're just going to... You know what, I'm hesitant to head into town right this very second. Let's see... Um, I don't want to go into town until a little bit later, be just because, um, man, I don't know what to do. I've got this full rucksack, and it's really preventing me from uh, from doing much around the, the farm with all these um, items in tow. So for now, I'm just going to brainstorm in here for a second. Uh, like I said, it's a rainy day. Even though it's not Monday or Wednesday, we can still go confess. So let's see, and I know the blacksmith is closed today, unfortunately. Um, it's very unfortunate that the blacksmith is closed, but what can you do? I'm just going to tour around my farm for a bit. Um, Alright, we'll tear off. We, we needed to wait a little while because um, we're going to start um, d doing a daily round of gifts to a few certain people, and of course the Harvest Sprites. So we should be able to uh, to get here right on ten, right on time, 10 a.m. This house, the third house from the top, is Ellen's house. As you know, we've already met Ellen. So she really likes flowers, and uh, she absolutely loves boiled eggs. But today we're going to give the boiled egg to Carter, the, uh, the priest. Um, we'll switch up back and forth. Uh, Carter likes eggs and flowers, just like Ellen, so... You know, you don't have to be clever, you just have to um, be persistent. You have to constantly, every day, make sure you give people gifts. And also, this is our first time actually meeting Carter outside the confession booth. 
You've heard about how much the townspeople hate me and how I litter in the road. That's all you know. No, I'm not going to listen to your sermon. And I am not sure if it actually affects his um, friendship rating towards you. But Carter and Ellen are, are both very important um, for reasons that will become apparent later rather than sooner. So um, so for now, we'll, we'll go off and um, gift uh, our bluegrass up to the Harvest Sprites while we wait for confession time. That is the current plan. Let's see. Give some bluegrass up here to my boy. Stad or stayed. And we're gonna hire Bold right now. He is, um, he lo Bold absolutely loves us. So we're gonna hire him to start watering our crops for a week. And, um, <clears throat> I also am gonna buy some turnip seeds today. Oh, don't get depressed, Aqua. I brought you a slightly different color grass than what jacket you're wearing. That makes sense. Anyway, uh, so we'll give Tim the, the blue one. Chef is um, it's a little bit different than the rest of the Harvest Sprites because um, he really likes gifts that are food related because I guess he's a cook. You know, he's, his name's Chef after all, but you never can tell with these Harvest Sprites and uh, this, these Harvest Moon games because of uh, translation issues. So I tried to talk to Zach. He just conveniently disappeared right there. Uh, we'll head to the beach. Looks like Zach's on his way home. We'll stop in and, and say hi to him and Juan, even though um, probably nothing's going to happen. We've already gotten two events covered. Yep, I've been pretty busy, so we'll just pop in and say, hey, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? I just noticed something. Hold on a second. Let me pop back in here. Can I have this? Basket. Give it to me. It's 5,000 gold. Baskets are, uh, as, uh, as important as cows. And that, I mean, they're probably even more important. Uh, one basket is more important than one cow, but if you add up all the cows, then yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a close one. I don't know how I'm trying to compare apples and oranges, cows and baskets, but that's where this conversation has drifted to. Here you go, Hoggy. And, um, I'll give... You, this yellow one. And Chef apparently is friends with the Kappa, which is a, like, a turtle man. Uh, <laughs> not the turtle man from Animal Planet, but... We'll give them all one gift. Let's see, you can, um, you can easily check and see, um, what, what Harvest Brights you have hired. See, he's hired, uh, to water for seven days, and tomorrow he's gonna show up at our farm, ready to work and ready to nap under some trees as well but of course what would a harvest sprite be if it, if he didn't nap under um under your tree that's just amazing uh oh all right great I'm happy that I um, triggered this event. This is a really good opportunity to uh, score some some points with Ellie here, and uh, for a way to explain these um, these uh, these little events a little bit. So Ellie hates bugs, and she's pretty annoyed right now, so she's going to ask you to side with either her or her little brother. And uh, the, the correct response here is to say, not really. And uh, if you're not sure what the response, the correct response is, um, save, say, before you, before you answer, and, and just gauge the reaction of, of the girl you're trying to impress. So if you say, sure I do, Ellie um, has a minus 2,000 point effect on, on her love gauge so right now that probably I don't know if she can go into the negatives or not but right now she's probably at zero but if you side with Ellie you get a plus 3,000 point boost so that's a big boost but Stu, uh, Stu gets mad which is no problem little kids get mad all the time they get over it 
first impressions on Ellie, on the other hand, are uh, are much more important than <laughs> than Stu's fragile little little feelings here. So yeah, no problem. We got our plus three thousand with Ellie, and even the doctor has a uh, has something to say about that. So always make sure you talk to people to get unique dialogue whenever an event like that occurs. Oh man, I was really hoping another event occurred in here, but it's probably not the right day for it. Um, so let's see, I have 5,000 gold and I have four plots of turnips that are about to be ready for harvest. So um, I'll buy four turnip seeds in preparation for that, and I'll switch out so I don't accidentally throw turnip seeds, because... <laughs> I would much rather accidentally water nothing than, than waste some turnip seeds. So yeah, I just talk to the mayor every day. He's not really, you know, somebody you absolutely need to give gifts to. Um, 12.30, I don't really want to loiter around in the rain for 20 minutes, but it looks like that's going to be what I do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Time to confess, once again. I'm the priest. Listen to my sermon. Let me play the organ. Yes. Save state. Walk in. I want to confess. Um, townspeople don't like me, of course. Once I get more animals... Now even I don't like people. Once I get more animals, um, I could, could think about saying I don't care for animals. Because, you know, if you have eight cows, eight sheep, eight chickens... A dog and a horse. I mean, that's a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of. That's probably more than the population of the village. So, we've got our small um, friendship boost with all the villagers now, and um, might as well stop by Doug's place on the way home just to see if any event's gonna happen. Talk to Mana. She comments on the rain. She is so long-winded, though. I think that's the point. Anyway. You can trigger an event here with Anne and Doug on a certain day at a certain time, just like the event I triggered with Ellie, um, where they offer you a free meal, and if you decline the free meal, then um, it's basically like siding with Stu. You get a negative, um, a negative boost to their reputation, and if you accept the free meal, then you get another a plus three thousand with Anne. So it's really nice. And today, oh wait, I expected you to be closed today. Oh, he is closed. He's closed. He, um, I, let me talk to him one more time. Don't loiter around here now, young man. It's raining. What do you want me to do, Saibara? I think uh, Saibara's actually got a, a birthday coming up pretty soon. He's going to be 901. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> Um, so what am I going to do right now? I'm going to deposit my turnip seeds because they're just dangerous to carry around, to be honest. And my fishing pole, and I, I would prefer not to have anything in my my quick slot uh, place right now. So Just because I might accidentally scythe my dog down. Or I should say sickle, rather, not scythe. But everything's taken care of for the day. Um, I think I might go out here and um, gather some sticks and some stones like I like to do and start start on my uh, my huge collection here again and uh, I also want to make it a little bit more um, friendly for me to travel around like uh, I want to make a gate somewhere that is um, moderately convenient for me because um, it, it sucks not being able to, to move where you want to move so um, I don't want to use my sickle because working outside in the rain, um, picking things up and putting them down in the rain is not not going to bother you, but using your sickle is just going to exhaust you and you have a, a really good chance of, of oversleeping. And in Harvest Moon 64, you could even like get sick and die. I don't think you could actually die, but you could get sick and it could take you out of commission for a couple days. And uh, a farm left unattended for a couple days is not a farm that's going to be very profitable um, or at least not very um, what's the word I'm looking for here 
efficient. It's uh, a <laughs> that's basically a dead farm. So we we never want that to happen. We never want to overexert ourselves. But since I like to gather wood like this, it's fine. I can stay outside and work on rainy days. And it's five o'clock, so Zach's gonna come by. He's gonna take our last five thousand gold shipment and. And from now on out, times are going to be tough, man. Um, what do you think about that shipment, boy? Let's take the basket and go back inside. There's something I want to show um, today. It's the perfect day for it, and I don't want to spend too much time outside uh, in the rain. Just for, for no good reason, really. I'm not sure you can even get sick in this game. But um, let's take the hammer and the hoe and the basket and head off to the spring mine. I'm not going to um, to go and, and spend hours and hours and hours in the mines, which you absolutely can do. You can come here every day and get and, and make, you know, thousands of gold in this mine every day and it's not going to cost you much time in game. It's going to cost you a very long amount of time in real life uh, because it's very tedious. I'm so lucky I just found the staircase after the second chop. So I'll explain a quick little strategy that seems pretty obvious. Come into the mine, save the game. Dig around until you find the stairs, load the game, and then go straight to the square that you dug up that lets you go down a level. Keep doing this until you get down to the level you want to be at. And that is the easiest way. Wow, I'm kind of trapped right now. Luckily, you can throw your basket onto the stairs. Just be careful you don't leave your basket down in the mines. Um, because it can be very, very bad. Uh, <laughs> I've never actually tested it, but I'm pretty sure you'll lose your basket if you uh, if you leave it down in the mines. Or if you, if you leave it on a floor, because you can't go back up once you go down. Um, you can only go back up to the very top floor. Not to any of the in-between floors, okay? So that's important. So take your basket down here. Um, work your way down to level 5. At the very least, you want to start working, you want to start mining at level 5. Uh, because up above level 5, you're not going to find anything worth selling. You'll find some upgradable ores and materials like gold. Uh, I think you find gold at level 3 or 4, but you actually want to go all the way down to level 10 if you're really determined to make money in the mines. Um, go down all the way to level 10. And you'll find, I say all the way, as if it's the, the bottom level. This mine is 255 levels deep. So just think about that, it's kind of freaky. Um, but anyway, go down to level 10 and you'll start finding uh, orichalcum and adamantite ore, which are obviously different. Um, you, you'll be able to easily t tell what they look like. As soon as you dig one up, you'll be like, whoa! But they're only worth, um, they're not worth an extreme huge amount but if you take a basket full of them up to the surface and dump them and do that two or three times a day you can make thousands of gold but like I said as you can see by how this is going right now saving loading making it down to level 10 um, and, and filling up your basket several times and all that stuff is just very tedious um, and it's not something I'm going to spend my time doing simply because there's better ways to earn money uh, m much easier. So I'm really just in here to explain the mechanics of the mine, and also I'll be coming in here to um, to mine up my upgrade material, which you have to get to level five to dig up adamantite, or I'm sorry, mistral ore. And um, it's not as worth as much as adamantite or or calcum, but it does upgrade your weapon to level four, which is the highest you can upgrade it um, via the blacksmith. So. So anyway, yeah, that's that's a basic explanation of the mines. If you need to upgrade to level 4, come down to level 5. <laughs> if you need uh, to make money, if you're determined to make money in the mines, um, come here and get to level 10 and, uh, and do your best to only fill your basket up with the two best ores you can find. Um, gold ore is not worth as much as it should be, <laughs> sadly. Also, another note, you can litter in the mine with no penalties. Um, just like you can litter on your farm with no penalties, but anywhere else you, you don't need to litter. And that just means throwing something down. And one more final note, the mine is the best place to 
level up your hammer or your hoe, obviously, or even your watering bucket. So um, come here, you know, slam rocks, dig holes, do whatever you got to do, and then go back out um, and uh, rest at the hot springs and come back in here so time isn't passing. Um, obviously, while you're uh, while you're in the mine, so it only passes one minute every time you go down the stairs. One minute passes, so that's something to consider. Um, it's just it's it's an easy way to do it, but like I said, I don't like to spend too much time in the mine because it's just tedious. It's just so tedious. And let's see, I'm going to just stay in the hot springs long enough to make sure I don't oversleep tonight. There's a few things I'll do. During this rainy rainy day, I'm not going to work on my axe skill, which is what I had really wanted to do today. I wanted to dedicate, you know, two or three uh, full stamina bars to uh, chopping out my axe and getting it able to upgrade. I'm just, I'm so ready to, uh, to clear large stumps like this, and I need to start um, chopping them up every single day, coming down into the woods and chopping those large stumps so I can start building up my wood reserve so I can eventually upgrade my my property so let's see this is the flower I was mentioning the white flower that makes a good gift to certain girls you gotta be very careful not to litter right there if I would have missed the basket I would have been so mad it, it literally it's like the opposite of being forgiven uh, for uh, littering, well, obviously, every single townsperson um, likes you a little bit less if you if you litter, even accidentally. So, so I've got my basket full of uh, of stuff. I've got a a cat right next to me right now that's uh that's really wanting my attention. <laughs> it's really annoying. So, uh, wow, she is aggressive. Um, hold on, just a second. Let's see, what do I have? A few more things I can see that I'm just I'm so distracted right now. I've got gold ore in my rucksack and I've got a stick. So let's go out here and uh and throw the stick down somewhere. Somewhere good. Gosh that big rock right in my way, oh my goodness. This is gonna cap off our fence. Let's leave a space right here. And boom, I like it. I absolutely like it a lot. And I, I know I've got this uh, this white flower in my pack. Hopefully it's sunny tomorrow and I can give it to Potpourri or um, or maybe Anne. So we'll see. Um, I probably won't start doing hardcore gifting um, in terms of trying to uh, have a spouse. I won't do that until the second year probably. Because it's important that you get all of the um, the events for all of their rivals before you actually marry. So... It's 11.30. I'm going to call it a video. This has actually been a longer video than, uh, than any of my other ones, I think. So it's been a busy day. Rainy days are slow. So anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.